Good morning. My name is Maureen Chong. Welcome to Devotional of 2024. This is Series 2-6. And the passage I'm going to share with you today is Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11 and 12. Live with uncertainty. I have seen something else under the sun. The race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong, nor does food come to the wise or wealth to the brilliant or favor to the learned. But time and chance happen to them all. Moreover, no one knows when the hour will come. As fish are caught in a cruel net or birds are taken in a snare, so people are trapped by evil times that fall unexpectedly upon them. Solomon, son of David, king in Jerusalem, ruled over Israel from 970 to 930 BC before Christ. He is reputed to be the author of the book of Ecclesiastes. With his God-inspired wisdom, he realized that he was living with uncertainty. Even a powerful and wise king could not guarantee his future. With the rise of Adolf Hitler in Germany in the 1930s and 1940s, Nazi Aryanism reached its peak of influence. It is the ideology that the Aryan race is a distinct and superior racial group. And originating in North Europe, they are the natural rulers of the world. In the Aryan nation, Germans were believed to be strong in the heritage as the pure and superior race. Jews, however, were believed to be non-Europeans but of near Asian stock. Jews, black people, and gypsies shared the bottom racial hierarchy. In the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin, at the height of the expanding influence of Adolf Hitler, he believed that his theory would be proven true once for all, with Germany sweeping the medals in the Olympic Games. Unfortunate for Hitler, a black American athlete, Jesse Owens, 1913 to 1980, won four gold medals, 100 meters sprint, 200 meters, four times 100 meters relay, and long jump. He also set three world records and tied another one. So Jesse Owens blew Hitler's ideology of Aryan supremacy to pieces. I recall this story as I re read the words of verse 11. The race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong. The Bible story of young shepherd David killing battle-ready giant Goliath in 1 Samuel chapter 17 attests to this statement. God uses the underdog to shame the proud. We human beings only live with uncertainty because the future is in God's hands. Verse 12 poignantly states, Moreover, no one knows when their hour will come, as fish are caught in a cruel net, or birds are taken in a snare, so people are trapped by evil times that fall unexpectedly upon them. At the time of writing, Canada is struck with a string of disasters. Wild Fires are burning in Yellowknife, Northwest Territories, due to extreme dryness and wind gusts. 20,000 residents have been evacuated from the city. Many evacuated by roads that lead to uh, British Columbia and Alberta. On the way out, they drove past burning structures and vegetations on both sides of the highway. Some have been evacuated by air, when flights are still possible before the dense smoke reduces visibility. It is a harrowing experience. In British Columbia, the city of Kelowna is under threat of wildfires closing in. 
and there are presently uh, 377 active wildfires burning in British Columbia. Days ago, we heard of the deadly wildfire in Lahaina, the island of Maui, Hawaii, in USA. The historical tourist town of Lahaina is completely destroyed and death toll is yet to be determined with thousands of people still missing. When we are going about with our daily lives, regular activities and business, terror strikes without warning. We can be gone anytime. We are living with uncertainty. Let us read James chapter 4, verse 13 to 17 to remind ourselves. The Bible says, Now, listen, you who say today or tomorrow we will go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business, and make money. Why? You do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogant schemes. All such boasting is evil. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. Now that I am aging at 73 years, I can be gone in an instant. I live with uncertainty. I plan to continue with my devotionals if God so permits. It is really not up to me. I don't have any lofty plans. I can just do the good that the Lord says lays upon my heart to do. I will seize the moment to do good and share the Lord's blessings with the people around me. The Lord Jesus said in his parable of Matthew chapter 25, the king will reply, Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. He will reply, Truly, I tell you, Whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. Thus, do good as if I am doing it for Jesus my King, to Jesus my lover, any time. I pray that I will never sin by knowingly missing the chance of doing good. Praise the Lord. Thank you for sharing your time with me. And may God bless you, even though we live in uncertainty. We have the peace of Christ. Thank you and see you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.